so now we're going to try off our legs, yeah? Yeah, definitely. So bowlers straight a bit straight. Really important as an opening batter that you pick up uh, where you can and if the bowler goes too straight, you obviously want to capitalise, try and clip it, clip it off your legs. So same sort of rules apply. You really want to wait for the ball uh, sort of into your legs. You don't want to step across it because that's obviously the elbow to you comes into play. So you want to let the ball wait for it. Small step, even smaller than the drive, nice and open so you can sort of get over the ball and just flick it off your legs. Um, ideally getting a little bit of power through your wrists. Uh, ideally you want to hit it sort of as straight as possible but the wider or the more down leg it gets the, obviously the square you want to hit it. Okay so obviously I've already told you that I'm not very strong off my legs as opposed to being very strong for every full defensive. Very strong through the cover. But let's yeah. give it a go anyway and let's see what we can do. Awesome. Okay so this ball is sort of looking about middle leg, leg stump. Looking to flick it either behind square or in front, ideally on the floor but if it's there to it in the air that as well. Nice little slog there. Don't play that shot, that was dreadful. Ooh, wide. So half while on leg stump. I do not want to flick it through that gap. It's probably a square leg, so if I get it in front of him, that's gonna sneak through for four. This one you want to play on length really, so anything full, it doesn't matter too much on the line because of the length there, so you can clip it off like that. Right. Four. Sorry, four leg buys. Slide down That's a bit. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Right, that's a five for, for the uh, medium pace bowler. Okay, so once again I've been cleaned out, not to any shock, but we're going to go for one last shot and this time we're going to move it to the back foot. So if I hand you the bat, we go for a back foot punch? Yeah, definitely. So back foot punch, um, probably a little bit later in the season when the ball starts getting above your ankles. Uh, back foot game, massive part, especially uh, opening the batting against the, the sort of quicker bowlers. So big thing for me is to pick up that's a little bit shorter early and sort of give yourself enough time to get back, we want to go ideally back and across, just in the crease, get in line with the ball, um, and then you can sort of adjust if it moves. You just want to bring the hands nice and through and look to hit through sort of extra cover. Um, and you want to play it quite close to your body, not sort of out here, because that's when you bring the slips yeah. and gully into play. Okay, brilliant, let's give it a go. Cool. Okay, so this can be sort of defensive or attacking. You want to get back. You want to get back in line with the ball, back in the cross, and look to hit it through the covers. So nice sort of compact position. You want to stay side on if possible, because if you square up, that's when it, you start getting into, into trouble. Last one. It's fine. Right, let's see how Josh goes. Okay, so I know it's hard, Josh, but we want you to stay in line with it. There we go, nice, that's good. Might be a back foot player. Decent. Let's go for one more if you've got it. <laughs> Rob, Rob, seriously. Oh! <laughs> I think that's plum. Oh, good leave, Josh, good leave. Okay, so obviously I've somehow mastered the back foot shot. Heather's teaching finally paid off, although all the forward foot stuff just didn't work. Just quickly, if there's any aspiring cricketers out there, what's your best advice to them when it comes to batting? Uh, for me, the best advice I was given as a kid was you can't score any runs from a pavilion, so um, you've got to be out there to score the runs and, and enjoy it as well, enjoy the battle against the bowlers. So obviously stay in a bit, little bit longer than I did. Hopefully, yeah. But anyway, Heather, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for your time. No worries. Cheers.